Hello, you guys, and welcome to my channel. This is Vicky J. If you are new here, then welcome me, welcome you. And if you are a returning J Bay, well, thank you so much for coming back. If you are not yet a J Bay, all you have to do to become one is click the red subscriber button. It turns from red to gray, and then it makes you a J Bay. And J Bays are my bays, my subscribers who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. Today's video is a collaboration with Aso Neo. Neo hit me up on the gram and uh, asked to collaborate, and I think this is a fantastic um, opportunity to let you all know about more black beauty luxury channels. And so Neo does a lot of LV videos, but she also does luxury beauty, and that is what we are collaborating on today. So make sure that you check out her link for her video and subscribe to her. I will have her linked in the cards on our video. And then if you can't see cards, I'll also have her in the description box. So we are doing a top five of the luxury foundations that we want to try. So our wish list, and this is my top five. And then you're gonna tune in to Neo's channel to check out her top five. I'm not gonna belabor it too much, you guys. Let's just jump right in because you know I love to talk about foundation. One that I've heard mixed reviews about, but I'm really interested in is the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. It comes with its own brush. It comes in a jar. And I've never tried a foundation balm. I feel like as a combo oily girl, it may work well for me. Um, I may need to just do a little bit of a mattification in my uh, oily areas, but I feel like it could really work, especially for like winter months. So I'm interested in getting it a little after the fall um, to see how I feel about it. And it'll be my first time using Kevin Aquan foundation. So very intrigued. I have seen some reviews on it. Some people love it. Some people do not. Um, it's very polarizing. So um, they have a really nice shade range. I believe my shade is going to be number 14. So uh, yeah, I, I just can't wait to try it. It's so pretty and it's on sale right now. So I will definitely link it for you if you are also interested in checking it out. Next up is from Sicily, and Sicily is having a 20% off sale right now. So this is the perfect time to grab Fito Ultra Letante Foundation. And uh, it's the one in the cute little zebra cap. I think that it's adorable. I really want to try it. I've never tried anything from Sicily, but I hear about it all the time. And it's such a raved about brand that I feel like the best way for me to determine if they're right for me is to try complexion products first. So definitely want to try this out. It looks like it's going to give really good coverage. All I need is medium. I can work around medium. So um, I'm not too worried about what the coverage is. Um, but the finish is supposed to be a natural finish. And um, it does seem to have a shade for me, which I'm happy about, but I haven't tried it haven't had the chance to sample it. So I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that my shade would be one of the maybe third to deepest shades, I think is going to work for me, either second to deepest or third to deepest. So yes, Sicily's Fito Ultra Letant um, Eclat. Ultra, yeah. <laughs> This one right here, <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> That's the foundation that I'm interested in. And so let's move on to number three. Next up is from By Terry. This is their Hyaluronic Foundation. And it comes, it looks like it comes in a dropper form, which I really like. I think that, you know, that means it's like a serum kind of, or like very liquidy texture. And I like, I just cannot wait to try this. I like, I love the hyaluronic powder. So I feel like the hyaluronic foundation is going to just be absolutely beautiful. And I'm trying to decide between the neutral and warm for uh, my shade, because I can't really tell from the pictures which one is gonna actually work for me. I know I'm a warm neutral and that's where my little conundrum happens, right? So I'm thinking, you know, am I gonna be able to work it either way? You know, it doesn't matter which one I choose. I don't really know, but we will definitely find out. It is uh, supposed to be very lightweight. Uh, it gives light to medium coverage. And so far from what I have gathered from the reviews and everything, it's a really good, really good formula. So I'm excited to try this. It is available on, um, obviously by Terry, but it's also available on Saks and on Neiman Marcus. So you know, I can get it a couple of different places depending on who has my shade at the time that I go to purchase. So very much looking forward to the By Terry Foundation. I actually spoke 
on my live about NARS um, All Day Luminous Foundation or just NARS foundation in general. I don't own any NARS foundations. I have tried them, but I don't actually own one. I have a lot of NARS products. So, you know, sometimes people think that I own it. I don't. And so I want to try the Longwear Radiant Foundation. Um, I think I have sampled it in the past uh, just to try to find a shade match and Macedonia was my shade. So I'm going to try that out um, I'm probably going to sample it one more time before I actually commit to purchasing it. I just like to, you know, I like to make sure. And um, Luminous Foundation is something that I have to kind of avoid in the summer. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know how to say that differently. But um, I like to use it in cooler temperature. Luminous Foundation does work for me. I just powder a little more than I normally would and it works out just fine. You know, you just prep your skin um, if you're combo like myself and it, it will work out for you. I tend to use a little bit less foundation. I might not go in with as many layers if it's a luminous foundation and I will powder instead and rely on my powder to provide additional coverage if needed. So I don't think I'll need it though. I think that the um, longwear foundation actually provides a good amount of coverage. I wouldn't necessarily call it full, but definitely medium to almost full. And um, I love the packaging, nice and sleek and sexy. Every time I pass it in Sephora, I'm just like, I should grab that today. And then I'm like, eh, no, you know. But I definitely want to try it. I know I do. I feel the pull. It's, you know, it's something that I definitely need to try. So I certainly plan on doing so. And number five is Dior Face and Body. I have heard so much about this. So many of my subscribers have asked me, have I tried it? They tried it and loved it. So obviously obviously I have to get my hands on it. I'm probably going to choose shade six. I'm shade six in the forever foundation. So I'm thinking that I'll probably be shade six in the face and body. Face and body to me implies full coverage. I'm assuming this is a full coverage foundation and it, I like the way it's packaged. I just think it's such a sleek, convenient kind of straightforward packaging. And I just really, it's again, it's something that has always been on my loves list on Sephora. It's something that I constantly look at, but never really commit to purchasing. And I'm just like, girl, you need to just buy it. Like, just get it, wear it, love it, embrace it. What are you, what, what are you doing? What are you waiting on? So yes, Face and Body by Dior. And that rounds out my top five luxury foundation wish list. Now there's one more thing that I wanted to mention, and it is... A foundation that I would love to try if there were a shade available for me. Now I talked about this previously in one of my live videos I believe and it was when this product debuted. It's the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Cushion Foundation and I was so excited about it because I have the Shade and Illuminate Liquid Foundation and I love it. I have shade 10.5 Mocha and I thought oh perfect I'll just get shade 10.5 Mocha in the cushion right? I mean, that makes sense. That seems logical. Y'all, I ain't got nobody's 10.5. Thomas Ford did not include 10.5. I don't even think he included any of the deeper shades. I'm trying to remember. I think it goes up to 9.75. And I'm just like, is it because it's just for the Asian market? Well, no, it's not because it's available in the States. Um, so what's going on there Tom I guess if it were a new product like a product that was not part of the shade and illuminate line that I would wouldn't feel away but I just think like it doesn't really make sense to me and I don't know if it's going to be one of those things where they release the other shades later but I don't like being an afterthought I don't know about you ladies but I don't like being an afterthought and so I probably won't purchase the shade and illuminate cushion because you know just an unfortunate rollout on his part and I've always wanted to try a cushion foundation and it just seems like they don't really have an expansive shade range for cushion foundations for some reason and I don't think it's because of the way the product is contained I think it's because um traditionally cushion foundations are from Asia and their shade range tends to be limited, even though the continent has 
every shade range there is in this hemisphere as well. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, <laughs> whatevs. But I do not want to leave this on a sour note. I do want to say that I really love Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation. It's wonderful. I don't have it on my wish list because I already have it and I really love it. So, you know, we'll see what happens, right? I want to thank Aso Neo for asking me to collaborate with her on the Luxury Foundation wish list. I do want you to check out her video to see what her wish list is because we did compare notes and we do not have the same products. There might be like one in there, but generally speaking, we do not have the same products. So you're going to want to check out her wish list to see if there's anything on that list that you already have or that you're looking to purchase. I would also like for you to comment below and let me know if you have any of these foundations and how it works for you, what shade you are, and also if these are also on your wish list to purchase. So let's have a chit chat in the comment section. I will leave description, I'm sorry, not descriptions. I will leave links for you in the description box. I do want to advise you that they are affiliate links. I do get a small commission when you purchase through my links and that um, commission ends up investing back into the channel. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, then feel free to click those links. Otherwise, you are free to shop however you like. I want to thank you again for watching this video and uh, checking out Aso Neo. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video so that I know you like the video. All right, y'all. Thanks again and I will talk with you soon. Bye.